of rock stars. Thank you guys. We are gonna hop in right here, but I hope you guys have been having a fantastic time. First life Elfer, welcome Jersey. Well, well, welcome to our quest for world domination. Uh, your first live. Oh, now they're in first live. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the chat. We got a lovely, a lot of lovely repeat uh, viewers, as you can see, that have been watching for years or whether you've been watching for a couple of months. I'm sure you can help out. Um, but let's hop in to the Eris family. Hello. There we go. Eris family. There you go. You can hear the audio now. My, my family were supposed to go on my birthday, October 24th, but she got tickets for a different day and we missed it. Oh, no. Do I have any New Year's resolutions for this year? You know, I do need, I'm gonna set aside some time soon to like go over goals and ideas. I was kind of like doing reflections on my past year for like work stuff. Hello, this is Lola. For work stuff um, today. And I just felt so overwhelmed because like I literally traveled all day yesterday to get home. Uh, so I'm pretty exhausted today. So my brain just wasn't in it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to use the, the knowledge that I learned in 2023 to take my time and not feel like I had to go, go, go. And I'm going to pick another day where I'm feeling refreshed and like ready to go and like excited to make those New Year's resolutions. So I haven't done it yet, but I do plan to do some uh, for sure. I think a big one for me this year is to take my writing super seriously. Um, a lot of times I kind of let my writing and my, my novels kind of sit on the back burner and be like a hobby. Um, but I really wanted to make it, you know, another part of my career. Um, so I'm going to be prioritizing my novel writing every day. Um, so yeah, so welcome back. Wait, someone died. Hello. Oh yeah, the cat. Okay. I was like, oh, so welcome back to our lovely Eras family. This is Mary Eras. She's our first generation, the debut era inspired, uh, Sim. So she's um, inspired by two drops on my guitar, you know, Mary's song. Oh, that should end. Uh, and the cat just died. Their first cat, Mayor Whiskers, just passed. Very sad. We are on short lifespan. So that means that the, the lifespans of these Sims are going to be a lot quicker. They're going to age up faster. So we have less time to get all our stuff done, making it a bit more of a challenge, but still pretty good. I, I reserve the right to slow down the lifespans if I choose. But this is our son, Steven Eras. Hey, little Steven, he is the older son, but we've decided as usual that I wanted to play as a female presenting Sims in uh, The Sims. It's just it's just who I like to play as. So our heir of the um, challenge is Juliet Eras. There, there she is, little Juliet. She is our fearless era. So we have um, debut era and fearless era, first two eras. We're finishing up the last two requirements of the debut era before we move on to the fearless era requirements. So let me go over those with you because I think we're going to get those done today. Hopefully, I hope and pray that we get them done today. TBH, like I really want to get that done. So let's see. All right, generation one. If you haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. I found it on TikTok. I actually didn't find it. I was tagged in it. So thank you if you tagged me in it. Uh, appreciate you. So uh, we've required, we've done all of the rules, uh, but we just need to finish off the child requirements, which is a little bonus here. We need to have one child with the artistic trait, uh, which is what Juliet will be once she ages up. I think she's gonna age up today. Oh my gosh, she ages up today. That's so exciting. It's like 1 a.m. So we're gonna wait until like the, the afternoon evening evening good job kelsey to age her up but uh, we'll age her up and she will have the artistic trait and then steven is um needing to complete the social butterfly aspiration i thought it would be cute to give them both the the two child requirements um because they're not requirements for the fearless generation they're just requirements for like the parent of the the debut parent. So I figured we can just give them both one so we can have fun with both of these characters. And Steven is needs to befriend three, make friends with three other children and two adults. And, and then he's done with it. So, and he ages up Monday. So we got the weekend for him to make these friends, which I feel like is doable. But Juliet's, uh, Juliet's sad that the cat just died. I think this is Destiny Goth who is going to be Steven's friend. I think Destiny Goth is Steven's best friend. Yeah. So Destiny Goth is uh, Steven's best friend. She's right here. She is related to the Goth family. I believe she's Mortimer and um, Mortimer and oh my gosh, my brain just farted. M Mortimer and the other Goth's daughter, his wife, Mortimer and his wife's daughter. <laughs> Her hair's 
really pretty. So I was like, go off. Bella! It's Mortimer and Bella's daughter. And she's got a hearing aid, it looks like. So, love! Uh, but yeah, she and also she's dressed up in yellow. That was like, I didn't do that. That was just how it was. So that was great. And Santa's here. We just finished up Winterfest, which is kind of honestly perfect timing because we just finished up Winterfest here in the real world. Um, and he's a horse boy. So he loves horses. Steven does. So he has also a horse friend. Uh, but we're going to try to go become friends. Also, um, if you're wondering where their father is, we uh, divorced him because he cheated on us multiple times. So we divorced him. We kicked him to the curb. We're going to write a great album about it. Don't worry about it. She's also a musician. And I think that's all the updates you guys really need. Let me know if you are missing any other parts of the challenge. If you want to watch the, uh, the previous parts of the challenge, it's all on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash more Kelsey Impeachike. Um, and you can go search for it there, but we need to go to bed team. So let's go to bed. Let's ask our friend to go home. Cause it's 1am. It's bedtime for, for our friendos here. Okay. Kiddos. Let's, let's go to bed. It's bedtime. Very serious, very serious bedtime for everybody. I think mom might have work tomorrow. She does. She has work tomorrow. She's not required to finish the musician, the, this like musical, um, like job. She doesn't have to reach level 10 of the career. So I haven't like been really prioritizing that necessarily. Oh, everyone's Winterfest was successful. Yay. Uh, go us. And Juliet's birthday is today. We have to celebrate with a little party. Um, scrolled across this while playing some sport. Nice. Desi will welcome. Oh, Steven lost his first loose tooth. We're playing a, um, Sims. Taylor Swift inspired Eris challenge. It's a 10 generation challenge where each generation is themed after a different Taylor Swift generation. Uh, so we're currently wrapping up our debut era, our first gen and going into our second gen. So that's what we're finishing up. We need him to finish up his skills. It's Thursday. We tried to have him make friends at school and he made no friends, but we can try again. We're going to try again today. When does school start? 8 a.m. It always starts at 8 a.m. And yet I always forget. I'm like, when is it? Not like I've been playing this for years. What's your Sims name and traits? So this is Mary Eras. She is our main character and her um, traits are she's ambitious. She's a cat lover. She's romantic and art lover. She's cheerful. And then she became jealous because her husband cheated on her. She's a piper from completing the musical genius aspiration. She's knowledge from her entrepreneur skill and she's a muser from her creativity aspiration. She's got a lot going on for her. And this is her son, Steven, who's our sweet baby angel. And we're all obsessed with him because he's the best kid ever. He just truly is the best. Um, let's take down our decorations. I'm pretty sure in a couple days we're going to be having, can we take down our decorations? I guess we're going to keep them up. They're going to keep those Christmas lights up till January. Okay. That's what they're doing. And honestly, same. I've also kept my Christmas lights up till January. The only reason you don't see a Christmas tree in this, in the back, like there used to be is because I moved it over. It's still beside me. Oh, also I can't wait to show you guys. I got gifted a, um, plum Bob ornament for Christmas for my, for my Christmas tree. Um, a friend of mine gave it to me and I'm really, really excited to add it to my Christmas tree in here because I don't have any like Sims related ornaments. So I'm very excited about that. Do you guys get any good gifts this year that you were excited about? Bonjour back to Paris. Oh, I need to adjust. I need to remove the just to you can. Thank you so much for reminding me of that. I do need to adjust the chew can, but I'm going to return that to you because we don't have Chewy in here today. He's he's hanging out off camera for today. He has decided not to join me. I tried to I tried to ask him in the room and he said no. So he's a busy man. My dad got me a PS5. Oh, that's so great. I got a PC. Wow, some big ticket items this year. I love your videos. Thank you, Birdie Z. Only Sims content creator I watch. Oh, that's so sweet. What's up, Gwen, Gwen Rogers? Um, Sony headphones, nice. I got a Ninja coffee maker. You got some new boots. Ooh, AirPods and Gracie Abrams record vinyls. Ooh, graphics card. I got some bags. Ooh, I love that. Oh, look, we've got a new heart. Thank you so much. The hand heart from Chelsea. Caitlin, thank you so much for sending a heart me. And Shauna, thank you so much for sending a little, what is this, team, team bracelet, cute. 
Oh my gosh. Uh, we got Monica. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Mind Over Mayhem. Thank you so much for the sub Prime. J Dub. Thank you so much for 52 months. Oh my gosh. I hope you had a great holiday season too. Queen Bug. Thank you so much for 11 months. One month away from a year. Let's go. I love it. I got Akatar for Christmas. <gasps> and I'm hooked. Yes. One of us. One of us. I bought the rest of the series. Yes. And I'm currently on the third book. Yes. I'm glad you recommended it because it's so good. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Where is it? What's he up to? What are you doing, kid? You got like school soon. Don't. Oh, he's throwing away trash. He's so responsible. Oh, what a good baby. And then he's going to grade school. Bye, King. Juliet's sleeping in. Mom goes to work at 2 p.m. And she goes to work till 9. I wonder if we should shoot because... I want to have the birthday party with Steven. So we'll have to have a 10 p.m. birthday party with a toddler, which is not a smart. It is what it is. What is love? We found an unset love letter from Steven to his teacher in his desk today. Nothing racy, but we thought you should know. Yeah, it's cute, but it's inappropriate. So we're going to talk about that. What? They're all romantics, just like their mama, who wants to um, kiss someone because she's a romantic. Uh, but we do have a another man that she was interested in before she chose her husband might pick him back up okay we might be back onto it on uh <clears throat> currently reading beasts of the briar and i'm obsessed Ooh, tell me more did you have favorite books of the year video on youtube tiktok you should oh my gosh i really should i should do that on my tiktok that will be a good one um okay she's gonna go cry it out in bed oh go girl you go you go cry it out He's gonna listen to his teachers and Juliet's still sleeping, so that's great. She's had a rough go. She really is just newly divorced and her cat died, so she's pretty rough, pretty rough out here. Uh, do you know you're going the name Taylor Swift albums? You know the song Cool Summer. Um, so name her Summer. Oh my God, that's so cute. There's gonna be a lot of good options for names. It's gonna be so hard to nail them down, but Summer's a really good idea too. I feel like though for Lover, I don't know. Summer's a good one though. I wonder what other other ideas you guys have for that era. We'll have to wait. I don't want to plan too far in advance because I'm sure I'll change my mind a million times because that's very me. She's crying over her poor cat, mayor whiskers. Why don't you have a nice sing in the shower? You know, get your emotion off. You a celebrity? What a joke. You're garbage. Just go away already. Okay. Our fans, our, our number was uh, leaked. So now people just randomly text us mean things or weird things. So fun spoiler people don't like that <laughs> don't don't just email or text strangers <laughs> uh so weird all right let's mop oh wait oh my god santa put all these presents we should open some more presents you know uh okay but she's very sad a cruel fan oh god remembering a pet that passed away why don't you call a, a little hotline girl you so you so sad or you know what the best way to get over someone sometimes to get under someone <laughs> i didn't say that what do you mean i didn't say anything weird um i've been watching you for over a year and i'm finally getting to watch you live welcome Brianna. How was her break? Thank you, Julian, for the bits. My break was good. How was yours? I had so much quality time with family and so much good food. Honestly, too much. Does that happen to anyone else over the holidays? It's just like, I eat way too much. And then I'm like, I feel sick every day. But also, that's my vibe. I got a, I got gifted a sweatshirt for Christmas that said, my tummy hurts. If you saw, saw it, I posted it on my stories. Absolutely perfection. You'll probably see it again very soon. Um, but maybe we should invite over like, wait, is he not a friend of ours? Or is he just busy right now? Wait, what happened to that guy that we were flirty with? We had another guy that we were interested in. He's not here. Do we not know him? I thought we, I could swear we kissed him before. What happened to the other guy? Okay, well, she's feeling better. She's feeling flirty. So maybe we should, like, you know, leave Juliet at a sitter, go out on the town. Another one. Cassie, thank you so much for another month. 67 months is wild. Tudos, thank you so much for 20 months. 
Oh, well endowed penguin. Thank you so much for 16 months. Always a joy to read your username. Uh, Sammy, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Little short for a stormtrooper. Good to see you. Happy 29 months. I started watching your first 100 BB and got hooked on your vids because you're great and because of Chelsea. Thank you, Chelsea. You're great. Okay, we're gonna go to the nightclub. Yeah, we're gonna go to the nightclub. That's like kind of where we went before. But you guys remember we had the other guy? I wonder if he did. Did she not introduce herself? But she kissed him. Are you gonna drop more merch? That is a, a goal of mine of for this year of 2024 is to drop some new merch. Oh my gosh, where did the other guy go? We could also build her a guy, a new guy, a fresh start. What do you guys think? Should we make a new man for her in Creed Sim? That could be kind of fun. Look how cute she is. She's like, who me? Do I need a new man in my life? Let's like tickle the ivories. Let's do a sassy little ivory tickle. Weston, that was his name. Yeah, it's time to man it up. What are the rules to this challenge? The It's the Taylor Swift Eras challenge. You can Google the rules, um, but each there's a 10 generation challenge and each generation's themed after a different Taylor Swift era. Um, okay, new man. Oh my gosh, Adderall, thank you so much for the raid. Um, welcome everybody. New man for sure. Okay, let's do it. Let's go to manage worlds and make ourselves a new man. Um, Mary Bachelorette. We just make a bunch of men, says Libracorn. <laughs> Hello, Raiders. If you guys are new here, I'm Kelsey Dangerous. I play The Sims mainly and some other fun, cozy games. Um, we just like to hang out and have good vibes. Everybody's welcome. We like positivity. Uh, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's all gonna be good. We're gonna play Build a Man right now. Uh, we're, we're starting in Chestnut Ridge. I feel like Gen 2 will have to move, right? We'll have like each gen in a different location. We have over 10 of these, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So they could all be in different ones. La la. Okay, but anyway, create a new household. Ha ha. Pajelja. Hello from Az. I'm gonna assume that's Arizona, but I'm not quite sure. But yes, hello back. We got a, a, a stretch from Liz Ready. Thank you so much for the stretch. Oh, I'm just. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, I needed that one. <clears throat> Feels good. Hi, Bugsy Mama. Thank you so much for requesting us to take a deep breath together. Let's settle down. Take a deep breath in. And let it out. That was a good one. It was like a gentle one. Just like a little. Ooh. Let me know in the chat if you breathed with me. Do you have any advice for people who want to start streaming on Sims on Twitch? My, oh my God, I literally <laughs> have used this man. I didn't even change a single thing about him. I just used him this way. Um, <laughs> this man is already perfect. Literally no notes. I mean, we already used this man and he had a daughter and he was really cute. Do you guys remember? I put him in my gallery. Let's see. I literally did this before. So part of me's like, do I want to do this again? Part of me's like, obviously. Um, no, my, my include custom content households. Okay. I've also uploaded the Eros family to my, where is it? This is so cute. Need a daughter. There it is. England. There they are. Literally same man. Same man. Liam England. <laughs> that was from 2020. That's four years ago now. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. I always breathe with you. I always breathe every time too. Oh, thank you guys. I love the deep breath redeems. I'm glad. Any recommendations for gaming PCs? I definitely like Alienware. I've, I've partnered with them a lot, but it's because I use their, um, I've used their laptops. I've also used their gaming tower. Um, I also have used for the ones, I'm looking around my room. I think it's called Cyber Power PC is another one that's kind of cool. Um, it was recommended to me by my brother. You can go and you can kind of like pick out all the specs. So it's like you pick out all the pieces. So it's almost custom, but then you like it gets delivered as one. Um, so those are all good. Do you need a subscription for Disney Dream of Valley? I don't think you have to have a subscription, but you do, I think, have to pay for the new content. Grimster, thank you so much for 26 Ooh. months. Da, 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 da. I know I'm on TikTok, but I think, uh, uh, but I think you something to drink. 
Well, what's up? I have something to drink, if that's what you're recommending, but thank you. <laughs> I got Alienware for Christmas, so excited. Yeah, I have Alienware. Um, yeah, definitely more pricey, so it just depends. Um, did you... I also have Alien... I have a whole Alienware set up. I really like their stuff if you're in, looking for an investment. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I would say, yeah, look at your games that you want to play and see what graphics they need to run smoothly and then look for things that way. That's a great idea, Flame Fox. What was your favorite gen of the Not So Berry Challenge? Honestly, it's always like the gen I'm on. Like I always, I every time I think of this, I'm like, blue is fun right now, but green was really fun, but yellow was fun, but red was fun, but mint was fun, but pink was fun. It was slow, but it was fun. What other ones? Orange was fun. Like, they were all fun. It's always something different, but let's make a man. I, oh, well, I kind of like this man though. Maybe we'll just change up a couple little things, you know? Ooh, maybe I can kind of like make him look a little bit like the guy from, um, what's his name? Like a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit like the guy from Bridgerton. I'm looking him up. What's his name? Reggae Jean Page? Reggae Jean Page. Maybe we'll have him look a little like Reggae Jean Page. A little, not a lot, because I hate trying to fully recreate celebrities, mostly because I can't. So we just do our own versions. So Reggae Jean Page, we're gonna give him like the inspo of a Reggae Jean Page. He's got kind of a darker black hair. So we're gonna go with that. He also has like a short hair moment. So let's see what other options. No, I don't like that hairline. No, 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 thank you. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. We might have ended up back where we started there. But that one's okay. I, I like this one. I think this makes the most sense. It's the most Reggae Jean Page vibes. Reggae Jean Page has like eyebrows more like that. There we go. And then, oh my god, the honestly, he already kind of looks a little like Reggae Jean Page. I was halfway there. The mouth already is there. It's just like the eye shapes, I think, a little different. That one is weird. I feel like I'm mess I'm making him less cool. The eyes are hard in The Sims. No, <laughs> I like the eyes he goes. He was he like started with. I think these are nice. Let's just add some like skin detail. See where we're at. I think the skin tone's pretty dead on too. Gigi, thanks for the finger heart. Okay, Bolt, thank you so much for the rose. Daisy Rose, thank you very much for the heart me. Uh, Mama Pigeon, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Why ever not? Thank you so much for eight months. Grimster26, thank you so much for two community sub oh, gifts. That sound? A wild Oprah appeared! Uh, we got uh, Mighty Hedgehog, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime subs. Okay, let's like do, I guess we could do more of an oval face. One of you guys said that. Maybe more, maybe even more jaw. Ooh. I, I don't like what I did just now. I don't know what I did, but I didn't like it. Here we go. Maybe more cheekbone. Sure. I think this is looking good. I think he's a good looking man. Let's get some skin details on him, see how he goes. I will show you. Hmm. Oh yeah, I like floor on him. That's a nice one. Give him some lashes, maybe? Okay. Why? Oh, it's the, the watch and the ring. I think he's handsome. What do you guys think? We're giving, we're making a, a love interest for Mary. I think he's a handsome guy. We, we want to make a loyal guy, a very loyal man. <laughs> a loyal man. I want to look more, 
Mm, maybe different nose? Like a larger nose though, like a larger, like a more prominent nose. Hello? There you go. Nice, okay. The lashes look kind of weird. I like them. I think what looks weird is, does he have like the EA lashes on? Let me see. For some reason it looks like he's wearing makeup. I don't know why. Maybe it is the lashes, let me see. Hmm. Maybe I'll do the lighter ones. Yeah, we'll do the lighter ones. He makes, uh, he reminds me of Theo from Not So Berry. Oof. I mean, Theo from Not So Berry is great. This is a good looking man. He looks warm hearted <laughs> and I like it. He looks great. He looks like a good looking guy. There you go. I think this is a good looking guy. 10 out of 10. This is a nice, nice, he's built, handsome, good looking. I like it. Okay, and then maybe we'll do some little cowboy shoes. Cause you know our girl likes her cowboys. Okay, not that one though. Not those cowboy boots, these ones, yeah. And then maybe different jeans. Cause I kind of want them over the boots. I don't want them under the boots. There you go. We can still make them light colored though. There you go. Mwah. I love it. Are the girlies thirsty for him? I love that for us. Maybe we'll do like a second one where he's wearing the sunglasses because the sunglasses were cool. Okay, the sun the everyday sunglasses were a move. There you go. Looking good, man. All right, and this is him without him. His fancy clothes. We'll give him like a good looking suit. We're gonna make a hot guy. So hot. Uh, yeah, honestly, good looking guy. There he goes. Okay, uh, yeah, I think this is fine. The shoes are clownish, so like get him into some better shoes that look more normal. Maybe these ones, these ones are cool. Those look great. And then we'll have some sleepwear. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is kind of fun. I like this vibe. This is cool. We'll do, oh, we'll do the green. It's like his, the mint. And I like the bunny slippers. It's, it's his softer side. Okay. You love my content. Thanks, Aunt Lily. I appreciate that. Oh, and thank you, Emma. You guys are so complimentary. B-Way Mom, thank you so much for 17 months. I can't believe I'm late. Don't worry about it, Abby Gaming. You're right on time. Don't worry about it. What is happening with this fit, bro? No, no, thank you. No, thank you to most of it. The top is fine. Let's go with, let's go with the top. Let's get him some like cowboy pants. <laughs> That's what they call him. Nothing sounds manlier than cowboy pants. Let's get this guy some cowboy pants. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. His, him and his cowboy pants. <laughs> Men in their cowboy pants. I just look, so, it just sounds so ridiculous the way I just said that. Um, Maybe just the black is still good with this. He's looking Ooh. good, honestly. Looking good, dude. Okay, swimwear. We need no shirt. Thank you. The girl we the girls deserve this. I'm doing it for my girlies, okay? Ooh. Oh look at the gnomes. These ones are good too. Oh, I like the little swirlies and the little shoes. It's cute. We'll do some sunglasses with it though. Like Mr. Cool Man. Actually, maybe I'll do a matching kind of bottoms with those Sony, so he kind of wore something like that. Yeah, and we'll do. We don't need shoes. Cool. He is ripped. Who is he? Well, we need him to have a name, so you guys can start working on that in the chat for me. Spitball some names. What is? Who is this mystery man that's gonna walk into Mary's life? How does he? How do they meet? Like, what's his story? Tell me everything, guys. Hot weather wear. I feel like this guy for a hot weather guy would be like just a, a t-shirt, like a black tee, and then, you know, some pants, call it a day. There's t-shirts. 
Something like this? I mean, that's cool too, honestly. This is tanked up. Ooh. Showing his arms. He's got some good arms. That one's cute with the little symbols. This one, I think he was having in the black. It looks great. Perfect. Uh, Chaz, the chess player. Okay. Thanks, Allie, for watching my 100 Baby Challenge. Uh, Leo or Luke is pretty. Leo or Luke sounds pretty cool, too. I like it. I like it. Do some jeans. I want the... I want his cowboy jeans. His cowboy pants. Ooh. Baby, are you made up of the real? I feel like this... Oh, it's the dirty pants. What is this first pant? This one. What is this one? It's not Horace Ranch. Where is it? It's this one. I want that one. I want him just to wear the same jeans again. Jeans. It's kind of hard to find. I, but I will find them nonetheless. There they are. I did them in the silver buckle Ooh. pant. There you go. The gray. Mmm. All us Leon voters are fighting for our lives. There's Leon, there's a fight breaking out. Guys, guys. Oh, maybe we should do a little sneaker moment here. Although it feels like he should just wear his, his boots. Like let it, let a man wear his cowboy boots in the heat. <laughs> cold weather. Okay, we'll put him in something more appropriate for cold weather, I think. Oh, this, I always love this in the black. I mean, it's pretty cool. Oh, there's also some of these guys. This one's pretty slick. I love this one. <gasps> so handsome. He's very like, his style's a little all over the place. I'm not gonna lie. I I did like five different styles on this man, but I don't care. I think he looks good. I think he looks good like that. And maybe he likes mixing it up a bit. There you have it. All right, let's see all the names that you guys, Tim is one that you guys have gone for. Okay, I'm looking at these names. I'm looking at these names. He's so handsome, thank you. I did very little work on this man, to be honest, but it's, but it's good. Okay, let's start a little poll. Oh, wait, what is, what's that? Yeah, let's start a little poll. So you guys start spitballing names for me and I will put them in uh, uh, this little poll and you guys can vote. Unfortunately, you, the votes are on Twitch until I figure out how to do it elsewhere. So um, you guys on TikTok can just vote in chat by shouting it and I'll see if there starts being similarities. Okay, so which name? Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of Leons. Okay, I'm seeing some Tims, I'm seeing some Caleb's, I'm seeing Leo's, I'm seeing Luke's, I'm seeing Rob's, I'm seeing Devin, I'm seeing Andre, I'm seeing Brad, I'm seeing Leonardo. A lot of Leo vibes. A lot of you guys are liking Leo, Leon's, Drew. Drew's kind of cute. I saw Drew on both TikTok and on Twitch, so that one's nice. Okay, we're gonna go Drew, Leon. I like Drew because it kind of reminds me of like, this guy is like living in the South. He's a Southern boy, even if he doesn't necessarily look like the most like honky tonk, you know? Um, Jaden, that's a cool one. Timothy or Tim, Devin. I feel like Devin sounds cool. Simon, I mean, Simon, yeah. He is based off of Simon from Bridgerton. Um, Elliot, Elliot's cute. Wyatt. Um, I want, like, I'm trying to figure out what feels like more country. Drake, Drew, Dr Justin, Roy, Andy. Cute, cute. Drew. I mean, wait, is it Drew looks at me? Drew looks at me. That's from, <laughs> that's from Fearless, but I could be, I could be into it. Uh, Drew because Fearless cheered us on my guitar. Isn't that from Fearless though? Am I crazy? Hold on. No, that's not Fearless. That is, I am so useless at these first two albums and knowing which one's on which. That's on the, maybe it should just be Drew. Do we all feel like it should just be Drew? 
So I feel like that's cute. I think he feels like a Drew. The vote has happened in my own head. Apologies. His name is Drew because that's too cute. I love that. You guys are so smart. Drew for the lore. Maybe, maybe they were high school sweethearts. Okay, because she wrote teardrops on my guitar already. Obviously, this is not Taylor Swift. This is my character, Mary, wrote it. But she wrote a version of it in an alternate universe. Okay, let's just keep going with me on this. And they were high school sweethearts. And, like, she never told him that she liked him. And he didn't know. And he was dating all the girls. Because look at this man. Of course he was dating all the girls. Look at him. Look at that face. Of course he was. And they... Second chance romance, baby. I feel like Mary is perfect for a second chance romance trope. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. So what is his last name? I'm screaming, that's why I was thinking, Chelsea, same page, same wavelength. We're in here, okay? What's his last name? Drew looks, you can, no. I can't do looks, this is his last name. Do you think, did you think about dimples? Wait, I didn't think about dimples. I love dimples. I'm thinking very highly about the addition of dimples to this man. Let me find my dimples. Here they are. Oh, I don't think you'll see them. It's my other CC. Let me, I would have to take it off. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Let me pick, pick a different, hold on. Go pick his other outfit. Okay. Let's see. Cause I could take off his floor. It does look so good on him though. But let me see if I can see the face kit dimples. You can kind of see the dimples. Yeah. They're like right on his leg. They're where they are. They're right here. You can kind of see them, but they, they kind of blend in with the facial hair, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to go with the floor. But great idea. I do love dimples. So keep that in mind for another sim. Okay, we got, okay, we got Drew debut. <laughs> That's so funny. I love it. Br Drew debut it is. <laughs> Drew debut. Okay, we, we, listen, we're here for a silly, goofy good time. Okay, we don't have to be, we don't have to be so serious. Drew debut it is. Okay, so what's Drew debut? So Drew, what's his vibe? Is he even in music? Because she already found love with the musician, so we don't even have to do it again. He doesn't have to be. Feels like a Southern name. Drew debut. Y'all, my name is Drew debut. <laughs> loyal. Oh, that's really cute. I would love that if he's loyal. I love that idea. He's the loyal. Where's the loyal one? Hello, where is it? There it is. I could not find it for a minute there. Man is loyal. Oh, a rancher would be cute. Maybe he starts giving her son lessons because he's a horse boy. Oh, yips, yips, ishi. Oh my God, I love it. The story is writing itself. Wait, it's under, it's under animals, right? Animal, animal lover. No, I thought there was like a rancher like where is it is it nature where is the new like rancher creativity no it's not food it's not love is it location no i thought there was a rancher aspiration is it oh is it sport it's athletic isn't it championship rider i don't know if he wants to be a championship rider i don't know how i feel about that maybe he I think it's under athletic. Yeah, I think you're right. But I don't know if I like championship writer. Rancher is a trait, not an aspiration. Okay, got it. So it's rancher instead of horse lover. Where's rancher then? Animal enthusiast. That's not what it is. It's horse, horse lover. R. Oh, here it is, rancher. <laughs> These Sims excel at ranch life and take pride in their work. They enjoy ranch chores and caring for their livestock. That's cute. I love that. Ooh, soulmate aspiration. That'd be cute. Little, little lover. He just wants to find the one. He's also romantic and loves outdoors. I like that. We have a little outdoorsman. He just loves being outside with his horses, but he's also kind of a cool guy. And I feel like he'll get along with our son a lot, which is so cute. 
but he's also romantic and loyal, which I think are qualities that she's looking for in her oh. future uh, lover. So where, wait, where was I looking for outdoors? Loves outdoors. There it is. Loves outdoors. <sighs> Got it. Sporty so he stays fit. Maybe we'll make that one of his likes. Likes. Activity. We'll do like mm. running. Fitness. Perfect. He loves oh. fitness. He likes uh, guitar. Horse riding. Oh. He likes sure to got. cook. Huh. And. Uh, <laughs> maybe not guitar. No, I think like a guitar. He could be like, oh, I don't know. You know? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Drew debut is here. I don't think he has a profession, just lives doing odd jobs. I'm so in love with this man. I'm so glad you are all in love with Drew Debut. Drew Debut is gonna, wait. There's the guy, Weston Woods. Is he married to someone else? He is, he's married to Saban. They got married. Okay, I didn't realize. Well, he's gonna move into Canyon Crossing, which is where that like old man starts, but the old man died. So that's kind of perfect. He's gonna, oh, furnished. No, 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 I want him furnished. Three real testing sheets on. So if you want to buy the house, but you don't have enough money, you can do testing sheets on and you're a little, you're, you do a shift control command, put the little cheat bar up. Then you do testing sheets, one word, one word, space on, wait, yeah. And then you do free real estate on. Again, free real estate, one word, all lowercase, and then space on. And there we have it. And now he can just purchase it. Ba -da -da, da -da -da. Wait, why not furnished? It's not available for this one. Okay, well that's fine. He can get it unfurnished then, I suppose. They should get a white horse and he can teach Steven to ride. <gasps> oh wait, we need him to have a front. He needs to have a horse. Okay, wait, we need to get this man a horse. Let's make him his horse. A white horse. Hey, nice warbo. No, 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 no. I gotta put on full edit mode on, cast full edit mode so I can add a horse. All right, testing sheets on and then cast dot. Full edit mode on, space on. Fabulous, so now we can. And then also you guys let me know if we should cheat any of his skills. <laughs> All right, let's get this man a horse. Add a pet. Let's make him a white horse. <laughs> let's go. Oh, this is a good one. What, is, what kind of breed is that? And illusion, okay. I kind of, I think I kind of want this one. Uh, lip, lip it, lip, live peasoner, live, lip peasoner. <laughs> I don't know anything about horses, as you guys can tell, but this horse looks gorgeous. Uh, I love the saddle. I'm thinking black would be cool, and then also for the lead. Um, hello, give me the lead. I just want the lead. Thank you. Here we go, we'll do little black one to match his fits, you know, as one would. Although he gives me kind of like a full. <laughs> or maybe, you know what? Maybe he doesn't really have, maybe he kind of like has it chilling or something. I don't know, what should a white horse have? Nothing, right? White horse should just not have a saddle much of a saddle we want him to oh maybe brown brown might be nice nice little brown saddle moment so it's not as like aggressive we'll do this little brown saddle and a little brown lead there you go looking cute little white horse mood we liked the, oh, we, maybe gray. Oh, gray. Okay, that's the gray and that's the black. I'm so indecisive right now. Maybe we do 
the black. I think I'm leaning black again. Yeah, I like this one. It's cool. It looks cool. All right, what's the what's the horse's name? Tell me. Moon Pie. Sydney. Fearless is the horse. I mean, yeah. The the horse's name is debut, obviously. Drew and Knight. Fearless. You guys like the name Fearless? White horse. Blue jeans. Name it Pony. Love story. Oh, that's cute. But it's it's supposed to be the debut era. So I wonder if there's any other debut era references. Uh debut album Taylor Swift. Let's see. Tim McGraw, picture to burn. Teardrops on my guitar. This is the one I'm like least. I should have said no. Yeah, I mean, that's about it. Those are the big singles. Hmm. Spirit, teardrop. Teardrop's cute. That's true. Oh my God, that's so invisible string. If we name it teardrop, mostly because she wrote that, but like he doesn't know maybe. That is named Teardrop. Invisible. That's cute. Cotton is cute. Pretty horsey. Love it. I'm gonna go with Teardrop. Or Fear... I know, Fearless does sound like a cool song. All right, we'll name it Fearless the Horse. And Fearless the Horse is going to be... Okay, well, Fearful, that's hilarious. Fearless the Horse is going to be Brave. Because it's fearless. Also, it's a stallion. Okay. He heard her song on the radio, named it Teardrop After Her. Wait, that was very romantic. Should it be fearless or teardrop? Let me know in the chat. The more I read of one, the more it's going to be. We're going to have um, mellow. Friendly. Friendly. Or this is going to be like the perfect horse. And maybe intelligent. Perfect. Okay, I'm seeing a lot more for teardrop. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot more teardrops in the chat. Okay, so teardrop it is. Teardrop is brave, friendly, and intelligent. Okay, teardrop and his owner, Drew Debio, have now moved in. Make his eyes blue. Wait, I could make the horse's eyes blue? Do horses have blue eyes? Bring back the 100 baby challenge. Reese, I have such great news for you. I am already doing a 100 baby challenge. It is currently on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Kelsey Dangerous. And it's called the 100 infant challenge. It's the same challenge, but with infants, since I did it before without infants, uh, you can go check it out. It's also a speed run, which has been fun. So we're already up to 67 babies. There are a lot of episodes for you to catch up on. So I've got you hooked. I got you set up. Uh, so the 100 baby challenge is already back. This is great news. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> uh, are you going to finish a fairy tale rags to riches? We did finish fairy tale rags to riches. There was a finale to the show. Uh, if you haven't watched it yet, go check it out on my second channel. All right. So let's go back to managing worlds. La la. If they get married, I feel like he should get a tattoo for Mary. Oh my gosh. He should. So romantic. <laughs> Let's go back to Mary and then maybe, wait, did we need to like make him, give him like the job? Whatever, it's gonna be fine. Don't forget to cheat Drew's skills. I'll cheat his skills I think when we're, when we have him in our inventory. <laughs> I'm too lazy, I want to play again. But remind me later. I just want to keep playing games. I'm tired of uh, setting things up. <laughs> so let's uh, play. And then hopefully Drew debut will show up at some point. And if not, I'm going to wait till my son gets home. And then I'm going to have my son introduce him to it. Oh, Alice Lewis is cute. I love this little fit for you, Alice. Who's this? 
uh, hello, unhello. Who's out here? Saban Woods. Oh my gosh, that's the girl that's married to the one guy that we were interested in. Well, I'm glad we made a new guy because. Oh, Dirk Dreamer. We should like uh, attempt an introduction to him. Since we're kind of famous too. We're very close to being level three fame. Bess, I'm not giving you, you're trying to scam me and I will not be scammed. Scammer, no scamming. Rising star, we are a rising star right now. Be like, hi, Dirk Dreamer. I am also vaguely a celebrity. Compliment is appearance, you're looking good. Oh, is that a flirt? Oh, well, she's single. She can do that. That's friendly. Uh, small talk. Like, compliment. Explain my adoration. I'm just trying to chat with him a bit. Imply attraction. I don't want to do that. Well, I guess I could. There's no reason I can't. Okay. Well, this is fun. All right, I guess we'll, wait, can we like randomly sign autographs? This is kind of fun, let's do that. We're like, oh, are you guys all here for me? I'm gonna sign autographs for you guys. Don't worry. Actually, we could hold a meet and greet right now. Pose for the paparazzi. We're gonna pretend they're all here for me. I know that I'm not as famous, but we can pretend. This guy seems excited to get our autograph. We're pretty famous. We're a rising star. You know, I haven't done a lot of the fame stuff yet. Oh God, she's late for work. Girl, you gotta go to work. Stop, stop with your adoring fans. You gotta go to work. Yikes, sorry. Girls gotta go. At least she was like back out there. You know, she like got to talk to everyone, feel herself, like, you know, just like remind herself of how cool she is, you know? <clears throat> I was waiting for the new guy to arrive. He did not. Uh, Mary is such a dork, and I do love that. Um, are you going to post this on my second channel? Yes, Sky. Well, <coughs> I just realized I found and subbed you on YouTube and have been binge watching your Honda Beauty Challenge, and I realized I follow you on Twitch now. Yay! Yay! All right, let's send to daycare. She is going to work hard as she always does. <coughs> and my son's home. Oh my God, my son's home. Perfect. He needs to make friends with an adult. And guess who's the first adult I'm going to have him make friends with? That's right. Our new friend, our future new friend, his riding instructor. He's signing up for horse lessons. With, De with Drew debut, yay! I know, should have said no. Should have said no is true in uh, Mary's case. He's going to freeze, who? This, this little guy, Steven's in his cold weather clothes. He's okay. All right. We're going to funny introduce ourselves. Hello, Drew. My name is Steven and I was, and I want to be your new bestie because I need to be a social butterfly, but also I am going to share some detailed horse facts with you because I love horse. I also will tell a joke about horse butts and um, brighten your day and talk about school and talk about my favorite animal, which are horses. And I'm going to goof around and I'm going to try to meet your horse. Go off, horse. Talk about the cold temperature. Be like, it's actually really cold outside. And he's just going to keep talking. Steven's going to keep talking to Drew nonstop. Pop culture reference. Ba-bam. Uh, talk about toys. He has horse toys. Um, talk about the sunny weather. This, this kid will not be stopped. He is telling you a make-believe story about a time that he rode a horse. He has not ridden any horses. He lied about that. Um, oh my god, they just got a sentiment. Oh my gosh, you know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. You made some great memories and we'll make many more, I'm sure of it. That's so cute. Steven does look like he's in his Evermore era right now. You're so right. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Oh, I'm glad you don't think my love it. Wait, they just got two sentiments. They're doing another one. Steven feels close to Drew from good times and happy memories. And Steven appreciates that Drew takes time for him. <gasps> oh my God, talk about a kid that's desperate for a good dad, okay. <laughs> oh, this is so cute though. You're doing the 100 baby challenge, nice, Faye, I love it. 
We're gonna talk about more toys. We're gonna hug him. I like you color theme the Legacy Challenge. You would love Sims and Bloom. I've heard of Sims and Bloom. I feel like I'll definitely have to check it out. Destiny Goth wants me to hang out. No, sorry. I'm busy with this man who is going to become my best friend and teach me about horses. And then I'm gonna parent trap him and my mom and it's gonna be awesome. As soon as, as long as this man doesn't get swept up by another Sim who's trying to marry him. Look, they just became, they're just leveled up his charisma skill. Good job, little kid. We're gonna joke about cartoons. We're gonna ask him about his day. We're just, this kid is talking his ear off and he's very sweet about it, honestly. We're gonna keep doing it. Let's, can we like, hug, do make a silly face. Talk about his siblings. He's like, I actually have a little sister. And then he's gonna give him a hug again and share more horse facts and tell another goosey story. And we're gonna keep talking until this man is my bestie. Hurry up, man. I wanna be best friends. What are your interests? I just came from school. Will you please teach me how to ride a horse? Ask about getting a horse. That's a great question. Goof around, joke about cartoons. Tell another joke about horse butts. <laughs> Getting and selling horses. Okay, we didn't really need to ask that question. But it's fine. Why are they not going up very well? They're still just acquaintances. <laughs> Who's about candy? Is it because we need to pee? Okay, maybe we'll... Okay, hold on. I'm going to meet your horse really fast. I'm gonna introduce myself to your horse. And then I think you, me, and the horse should go somewhere where I can like enjoy my time here. <gasps> yes, wait, they just became friends. Become friends with two adults. He's friends with an adult. Yes. The selfies don't work anymore. I'm, I'm still mad about it. Okay, he's acquaintances with Teardrop. All right, now we can travel together with hopefully Teardrop. Yes. And Drew. And we're gonna go to like the little writing center. And there's like a bathroom there and all this other stuff. I'm gonna introduce myself to your horse. It's such a country sounding thing. It, I'm gonna introduce myself to your horse. Could be a song. It's not very good like lyrically yet, but you know, workshop it a bit. We can get it there. I'm proud of us. You're so cold. Oh no. Is it just from like the Sims being cold? Otherwise just go get a blankie. That's a perfect opportunity. For blankies. I love getting blankets and curling up with them. Ugh, so satisfying. All right, kid. Go over there. You're waiting on your mom to get home to celebrate your little sister's birthday. Julia just learned how to do the potty on the chair at daycare. What a cutie pie. Dude, walking in on a child. Harvey Robles. Occupied. Bro. Bro. He wants to go horseback riding and he wants to become friends with Drew. That is the cutest thing I've ever. Okay, let's, can we like cook out with Drew? Cause that'd be really cute. Steven does not own his items. Dang it, he can't just get food. Where did Drew go? Drew, where are you? Where is Drew? Why is he all the way over here? Okay, well, we need to make friends with other people. So I guess we can work on other people. We can hang out with Drew's horse. I wonder if he can try to, like, oh, he's sad again by the, the cat dying. That's understandable. Let's go talk to the horse. Can you mount the horse? Probably not. It's not his horse. Let's try, though. <laughs> I'm going to go learn how to hang out with Teardrop. We're going to talk to Teardrop, and we're going to tell, converse about being a simulation. Teardrop's really smart, so I feel like Teardrop would like that. We're going to give more neck scratches, and then we're going to try to mount him and see how it goes. Teardrop didn't quite like the kid, so maybe not mounting yet. <laughs> maybe more talking to... He didn't... I don't think Teardrop liked the idea of us being in a simulation, and I don't blame you, Teardrop. Mary's home! Okay, Teardrop, I'm sorry. I got to go home. My mom's home, and we're going to celebrate my little sister's birthday. But I'm going to see you tomorrow, Teardrop, during the time that my mom isn't home. <laughs> Bye! Go home, little kid. Actually, I'm just going to switch control to Mary. I got the horse ranch pack from your rags to riches of the pack. It's so fun. Are you enjoying it? 
Uh, it's finally starting to feel like winter here in the Midwest. These 50 degree rainy days are crazy. That's pretty wild. Happy New Year, Laya. All right, so we're here. Steven's coming home. He's a little tired, but it's Mary's birthday or Juliet's birthday. So let's open it. I think we have a cake. We do have a cake prepped for Mary's birthday. So let's help Mary blow out the can or Juliet. Jeez. I keep messing that up. Let's help Juliet blow out the candles. Juliet. No, come here. Come here, silly boy. Let's so come celebrate your little sister's birthday. She's going to be a kiddo. All right, we're gonna celebrate her birthday. I messed up because I moved the this thing. Okay, happy birthday, Julia. I can't wait to give her a little makeover. Ah! Super late, but happy new year. Happy new year. We all miss Chelsea. I'm still playing with Chelsea on a different challenge on my YouTube channel. So no need to miss her. She's still around. And I play with her from other challenges too. She's on my more recent challenge where I um, try to have a baby with everyone in the Sims world to see who has the hottest babies. Go check out that as well. <gasps> yeah, Juliet's aged up. Okay, let's, there's some requirements for the challenge. So let's look at those. Okay. So we need to have an artistic trait. So let's do that first. Artistic trait, artistic trait. Oh, this is art, this is the traits, right? Artistic, artistic. Have one child with the artistic trait. Oh, is it this one? Wait, what do you mean artistic trait? This is, hello? There is no one artistic trait. I'm very confused by this. Art lover? I thought creative was more what it was supposed to be. I'm gonna go with creative because that seems like the closest to an artistic trait. We can also be an artistic prodigy for funsies. How about that? So there you have it. But this, this is odd. In the child requirements, this is must have one child with the artistic trait, but there isn't an artistic trait. So that's all right. We're doing our best, you know? There's really guidelines anyway, to quote a pirate movie. But once we finish the social butter aspiration, we're done. So with this challenge. So hooray. Um, so there you have it. Oh my gosh. Hello, girl. All right, Juliet. Castle. On. Let's give her our sweet little Juliet, who's very sad over the cat, a makeover. Oh my gosh, I love. Why is she in old age makeup? It's hilarious. Okay, I love that she's like got a little gap tooth. Okay, Juliet. So we're gonna make her look very like. Oh, she's got. Oh, I kind of like that. That she has a little hearing aid. We're gonna keep that. Uh, okay. I want her to have like a very romantic looking hair. I think there's one with a crown. This one's really cute. That's very romantic looking. We're going for fearless. Let me look up fearless and kind of get the vibes. Fearless is again, a bunch of curly hair. Uh, it's very like, gold and shimmery and we're kind of I think I'm kind of gonna do like a almost like some like golden yellow light academia look like a princessy academia kind of vibe to it so we might go there let me see it would be fun to keep up with like some curlier hair maybe something like this or like this one. Oh, that one's so cute so she has curly hair like her mom it might be fun to have curly hair with like mom in this. Let me see if there's any other curlier hair options that are like pretty and romantic. There's this one, which is very romantic. She had hair kind of like this as a kid. Very romantic hairstyle. <laughs> this one's pretty. It's a little over the top for a kid though, I feel like. Oh, this one's cute. This is a cute hairstyle for Juliet. Yeah, light academia vibes is what I'm going for. This one's cute too. I like this one actually. I wish I could change the color of the rose. So we're gonna do it again, which is what we did last time. But that way we have like kind of the waviness of the hair. I like it. I like it. 
I think also her dad had this kind of brown or maybe this brown. So we might go with this one. I think I changed her brown for some reason. So we might go this way with it. Oh, this one has gold on the end. Maybe we'll do this. I think her dad had different brown hair and then I changed it. Um, so we're doing this. Okay, cute. She's got brown eyes. Let's do, oh, me. we didn't do freckles before on her, I don't think. Um, you can't see her, her hearing aid, but we know it's there. Maybe I'll have her hair up or different in other spots so you can see it. Uh, in other ways, so you can see it then. She's so cute. That is giving a mix of debut and fearless vibes. More curls for fearless. Well, we're not trying to make her look like Taylor Swift. That's not the goal. It's more of the essence of the album is what I'm going for, which is why I have it like this because we're going for like a Juliet romantic in a castle, you know? Um, there's not a lot of curly hair options for littles. I can keep looking, but like, I kind of like how romantic this hairstyle is. So I might stick with it. Uh, let me keep looking. Yeah, I pretty much, I mean, there's not a lot of, Good curly hairstyles for a younger Sims. Maybe this one. This one's kind of cute too. Very romantic. Again, not as curly. But it is giving like the the like fairy tale romance look. Maybe a little more. There's like this. I don't think that makes sense for the Fearless album. We could do this one. Oh gosh, it doesn't have the right hair color though. And this one is also very cute. I don't think it's that wild though. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with this one. I think this one's pretty. I like the little, the little bun. I think it's pretty. So we're gonna do with that. And then we might do like a little bit of blush just for fun. Maybe not that one, maybe this one. Cute. And then there is some like, we could do some gold eyelash or eyeshadow. I know she's really young. Maybe she's too young for this. She's just a kiddo. Cute, okay. Look at Juliet. We're gonna have her mostly in gold and like yellowy colors. Oh my God, this is really cute. I want no more accessories, thank you. Maybe one of these, this one in gold? Oh yeah, there we go. That's kind of giving fearless. We need the boots. We need the cowgirl boots cause she's still a little cowgirl kind of vibes. Do this. Yeah, I like the like, that one's cute. I'm on winter. Oh shoot, you're right. Okay, well, I'll, I'll do a different fit then. For Fearless in the winter. You know what, maybe I'll still do this dress, but I'll do like leggings, like some goldy leggings with it. Some, some tights, brown, some like warm, warm tights with it. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go here. We could also do socks. Like kind of boot socks. Are there any yellow ones? Ooh, I want gold though. I don't want like, I want goldy, goldy socks. These are kind of gold socks. Oh, we could do like these kind of shoes. Oh, how cute is this? This is a pretty cute little fit here. Or maybe this one. No, that one's not as cute. This one's cute. Oh, she's giving Belle. She is kind of giving Belle. That's kind of that's kind of in the general like in the general direction that I'm going for. I think. Let's do her little updo again. This is the princessy looking one. Oh, we need her um her accessory here. Or the medical wearable, yeah. She has a little pink one. Actually, we could have a cool. Is there a gold one? There's a brown one. I think I like the pink one that she had. I think that was cute. Um, I guess we could do... Oh, that one's got a bow. That's cute. I'll just give her different hairstyles. That one's the winter one. This might be an everyday one. This was cute for Julia. I like this. Oh my gosh. Look at the little peasant sleeves on this top. It's giving kind of Taylor Swift on the cover. Okay, we're gonna do this one, but then I want different hair. So this is all very hard for me. 
is the cover of the album where she's like, fearless. Can we do this one? No, that's not the right, because it's custom content. It doesn't have the right hair. Uh, let me find a good curly kind of down hair. Not that one, not that one. She looks like werewolves to me for some reason. <laughs> I know it comes from werewolves, but I feel like it just reminds me of it too much. Maybe this, this is kind of cute. Little princely one. Okay, didn't change that hair, perfect. And then we'll do like little, I don't know. I don't know what Taylor Swift is wearing underneath this fit. So we're gonna give her kind of whatever we want, I guess. Maybe some jeans. Yeah, cute. And then like little cowgirl boots. That'll be so cute. I love that. That's so cute. Okay, that's one look. Maybe not her everyday one. I liked the curly hair. Listen, does her hair change colors and or styles and textures frequently? Yes. We don't talk about it. Actually, that looks pretty cute with this hairstyle. So we're going to keep that. All right. And then we're going to do... Oh, that one's cute. I want to do her in like a princessy looking dress though. <laughs> princessy dress. This one's cute, but not for every day. <laughs> this is so cute for her formal wear. Oh my gosh, that's going to be perfect. It'd be like, hmm. I like this one. That one's cute. This one's kind of cute. I just wish it wasn't like mustardy yellow. Oh yeah, this one. That one's cute. The other, I know the, fr oh my God, we could just do this. I mean, we should. We should do that. Oh, and she could wear like cute little shoes. This is, you know, like how some kids just wear dress up clothes. That's our Juliet. She's crushing it. Um. I love the bow. Me too. I like the bow. Okay. Juliet has a lot of cute little, oh my God, look at this fit. She's so cute. I love her. Okay. I love this fit. I love this fit. I love this fit. I love this fit. I love them all. I love them all. You want her to have the same hair as the winter wear. I can definitely change it for some of these. I like both, so I'm doing a little bit of both. Wait, where'd it go? There we go. Oh, that one's cute. Oh, look at her. I think this one, she should have the winter, like, updo hair. Yeah, so cute. So this is her cure fit. She got the curly hair for this one. Maybe we'll do a little bit more of a casual one. Maybe this one? That's cute. Should we do some boots still though? I feel like we should. This is cute. I feel like she should wear brown boots but I don't like the color of these brown boots. And there's no other cowboy boots. There's just a singular color. I want this all one color. Do I like Karen, uh, Karen and Connie? Yeah, they actually worked at Buzzfeed right after me. So I know them kind of vaguely. We, we didn't like talk a lot, but I talked with them a bit and they're awesome. They're wonderful. Uh, love watching their videos and seeing them thrive. It's always great. Ooh, this one's kind of cute too, actually. Let's do this in the brown, brown shoes. We'll get another little casual fit here. So she's got kind of a couple like little country girl casual fits and then she's got kind of her princess fits, which is cute. So I love it. That's our vibes. There we have it. Okay, formal wear. Obviously we're changing the hair the little updo that we like to put her in and then we're gonna put her in this that little uh this this sparkly dress yes ah fearless <laughs> uh sporty oh my gosh don't put on glasses for working out that's silly did we make sure to have her medical wearable i guess you can't really see it much so just remind me when she gets older to put it back on 
if we don't have it on. Um, da -da 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 -da. I like this little top she's got going on. Maybe we'll do like another little. I'm gonna assume those are stretchier pants, but they look cute together, so I'm gonna not jinx it. I mean, honestly, like, we're never gonna see this outfit. We're gonna see this outfit. So we're gonna maybe have her hair. I kinda wanna see her hair more down and curly, but that's not really an option. Unfortunately, I'm not really seeing a lot of like curly hairs that are just down besides like this one, which I guess we could do. It's kind of cute. That's not my favorite though. I think we're gonna go with this one. Does this come in a different color? Does it come in yellow? No, just ballet pink. Rats, that's okay. Yellow. I know she doesn't only wear yellow in this era, right? Like Taylor Swift didn't while she was performing, but like I'm just, I like kind of having a, a gauge of things. There she is. She's a little princess, even to bed. She wears a princess dress. Party wear. Did we not do this one? Oh, this one's cute. I like this one more though. Let's do this with the little, oh, this is, the outfit speaks for itself. Swimwear, cute. Oh, this one's cute though. Oh, I like that. They're little. I think there's like custom content shoes that are like little, little sharks. Yeah, I wonder if they come in the yellow. They do, of course they do. They're so cute. I kind of want to change her hair. We'll maybe put it in the updo. I know there's like a fancy clip in it, but. It is what it is. We put them in these little braids. I don't want it in that braid though. Wait, there's the braid that goes down the back. That was like right next to the other updo. Wait, where is it? From their updos. Where are you? This one. No, not that one. Where is it? The braid that like goes down her back that I almost had her have. It's like wavy. Is it, it's not this one. This is the is it this one? No. Her medical wearables there. Um. Maybe it's like under. Maybe it shouldn't be under swimwear. Maybe that's why we're not seeing it. Not that. Although I'm shocked that this would be included, but the other thing wouldn't. I mean, this is cute. Is it just not considered? There it is. I guess it's just the long hair instead of an updo, which sounds weird, but okay. Boom. I love it. And then we got the hot weather look, which I think if when it's hot out, she could wear like something like this or this. This is cute. <laughs> that looks perfect with little like cowgirl boots. Oh my gosh, how cute will this be? Yeah, I love that. That's so cute. And then her cold weather, which we already have done. So this is our little, our little fearless queen. I love it. She's so cute. Um, we love it. Is the is it the one from Cottage Living? Yes, it was the one from Cottage Living I was looking for. Okay, so here's Juliet, and then there's her brother Steven, and they're just such sweetie pies. Hearing aches can't get wet. Oh, good point, good point, good point, good point, good point, good point. Good point to go, I'll remove it from this one. Well, you can't even see it, but I'll remove it for sure. There she goes, she doesn't have it for that one. You can't, her ears are always covered. But we'll see them, we'll know, we'll know they're there and we'll see them next time. Um, Fearless as in Taylor Swift or something completely different. Fearless as in Taylor Swift? It's this Taylor Swift era's challenge, what we're doing today. Maybe Steven could wear yellow too. He does wear yellow too. It's a little less on the nose than hers is, but he does wear yellow too. You can't tell in this outfit, but this like undershirt is more yellow and the hat is more yellow. Um, it's just his, his cold wear. Oh, we need to add another 
another um, bed for her because she can't sleep in that one anymore. Okay. Maybe we move this over here. Maybe move objects on so we can put our objects wherever we want them. And we'll put this here under this table. Hopefully they can like work on at it. I'm gonna put this here. They're not babies anymore. So ooh, we'll take away that. We'll just put that underneath. We'll put him here. Is that maybe up against this wall? Perfect. Put the little star up here. Um, we'll move the little backpack that's over here, over there. This is her brother's backpack. And then we'll add just another little, we don't need this anymore, RIP. Um, we'll add another little bed under here for our princess. Unless of course we move this back over and then add the bed. Cause I'm like, is there a princess looking bed that we need to give her? Cause that would be pretty cute. I mean, this is pretty cute. Although it'll fit under there. Wait, isn't there a super princessy looking bed? There is, but it's not pink or it's not yellow. It doesn't come in the right color. And that obviously can't, we can't do that. <laughs> we need them to look princessy and be in the right color. Okay, here we go. This one's got a little, which is cute. I'm gonna go with this one. Here you go. Perfect. There you have it. Now we got our little bed. So why don't you cry it out in your bed? I know you're really sad still about the, let's see her in game. Oh, look at our little princess. She's so cute. What a cutie pie. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be so fun to play with. We're gonna focus on, we're gonna add some candles to this so that we don't have to make another cake when the next kid ages up. Look at our sweet girl. She's crying in the, oh, she's playing with her dolls. Okay, angry girl. She's just dealing with a lot of emotions. Okay, why don't you go to sleep, sweetie? It is like midnight, so we're all going to sleep. Juliet's in bed in her princess bed and Steven's up, he's hungry. He really wants to become friends with Drew. He's like, Drew is the coolest man that I've ever known. Oh, we don't need this anymore. Oh no, RP, I miss it. We'll go back to this dining chair. Oh, so cute and so sad. Did Mayor Whiskers die? Yes, that's why they're all upset. It's because Mayor Whiskers died last episode. It was very tragic. So we're, we're eating our foods here. Why don't you clean that up and go back to sleep since it's still early. It's a midnight snack for you. See, he's wearing yellow there too. He's just a little less full one color than she is because she's the heir. So I'm kind of trying to mix it up a little bit. A new kitty. We could get a new kitty. I think it's too soon though. They're still mourning the loss of the old cat. So I don't really want to give them. Look how cute she is when she wakes up from her little <laughs> fearless out. Fearless bed. It's so cute. Oh, she's so sad. Mm. Maybe we should get you a journal and you can like put your feelings in your journal. That could be part of her creativity. Journal. Let's get her a little private journal so she can like say all her sad emotional feelings and thoughts. Okay, express your melancholy thoughts, girl. Go, go off, do it. Look at her in this, sitting down as the snow falls. A golden retriever for Juliet when she's older. Julie, Juliet could very well be a dog girl, a doggy girl. We did do cats first, but we could also just do cats always since it's, it is a Taylor Swift theme challenge. Oh, you didn't know I was on TikTok? Welcome, MW. Thank you so much for being a dog day. Thank you so much for sending some GGs. Uh, Kellen Deer, thank you so much for the five roses. And Chewy, thank you so much for five roses. Uh, we got some requests here. Um, M Designs, thank you so much for reminding me to save, please. I'll save right here. Sorry, I didn't notice that before. I'm still getting used to everything. Uh, Sammy would like us to all take a deep breath together. So let's take a deep breath in. And let it out. <sighs> Perfect. And Natty Loving, you're doing amazing, sweetie. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's always good to see you. We might need to see uh, if Drew and Mary work out. See what? See what? 
A Scottish fold. We did say we wanted a Scottish fold. Maybe we'll wait until the kids are less upset and then we'll get the Scottish fold. She's watching TV while she's eating like 5 a.m. cake for breakfast. What a queen. What a boss. What a boss. Let's clean this up. Okay. And then we'll get like a nice little bath. Maybe like a little bubble bath. Cheer, cheer you up. We're trying to cheer poor Juliet up. She's a little emotional. Okay, Steven's still sleeping and Mary is over here. Why is my whole screen yellow? Hello? Do you guys know what that means? I don't know. There's like a little yellow border around my screen. I'm not quite sure what that means. But we've got school today, not for Mary because she, it's not school, but school for Steven. Steven's got his Friday day. He's a C student, oh gosh. Maybe you should do your homework, Steven, when you wake up. Actually, he needs some more food, I think. He did have like a little bit of food, but then he didn't eat a ton, so. Get some leftovers. And then we need you to work on your homework. And then over the weekend, we'll finish out this requirement of the social butterfly. Um, Where did the dad go? The dad cheated on us. We broke up with him. It was pretty dramatic. They ended up with a difficult family dynamic. They tried to work it out and then they kept, they were very toxic. They kept like having bad experiences and then making out. It was just not good. And then he stayed out all night drinking and came home and I feel like he, I don't know, he passed out on the floor. That's what he did. And it was like the kid's birthday or something. I don't know. I don't remember all of the details. It was drama though. You should watch that episode. It was really good. Go check it out. It was before the break. So I don't remember exactly all the pieces of it, but. Oh, she wants to have an activity table. Well, that might be hard to fit in here, huh? Activity table. Do you want that instead of your dollhouse? Maybe we replace the dollhouse with it. We can like pop them back in and out, you know? Oh, why do we have all these random things? Oh, I think we took the dad's things. <laughs> activity table. You need to get a little activity table for her, preferably something yellow and gold kind of vibes. This one's cute. That one's a little bit too yellow. This one's okay. This one, oh my gosh, this one's cute. It looks like they just made it at home, which is cute. I love that. Let's do it with a little car. All right, let's draw shapes. Oh wait, we need to be inspired. Let's get inspired the thoughtful shower yeah let's take a thoughtful shower so we can get inspired that'll be what she works on today make some winter crafts maybe steven's going to school bye steven i guess he doesn't get to do his homework again he's still gonna be a c student he's just too focused on horses he's got some kenergy all right listen to your teacher juliet's working on her crafts and Mary's feeling very flirty. Well, Mary, I'm I'm gonna be introducing you to someone new pretty soon. She's got work in six hours. Awesome. She needs to practice an instrument. Which instrument is she like least? Okay, guitar. She's not done with guitar yet. So let's practice on our guitar. We could take our daughter to the bar and then strum for fun so we can finally get to level three of the celebrity. Maybe we'll do that. If we run into the guy, you know, yeah. chance meeting could be kind of cool. All right, let's take our daughter to the bar. We gotta be famous somehow. Uh, where can I find this challenge? It was on TikTok. Uh, the username that posted it was Midnight's 162. Uh, and it's been so fun. It's fun so far. I'm really enjoying it. For Christmas, my husband got me a Nintendo Switch with Disney Dreamlight. Oh! And he wouldn't have thought of it if it weren't for me watching your YouTube video. That's so sweet. I love that. Chelsea, thank you so much for the team bracelet and the hand heart. Maddie Elizabeth, thanks so much for the finger heart. Pamela Momo of One, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, Libracorn, oh my gosh. Thank you guys for asking to save, please. Oh, spider baby. Uh, the yellow border has since left, so that's nice. Uh, and Libracorn, I'm going to return this to you and you can remind me to save, please, at a later time. Um, oh, it's a video random okay dork dreamer still here but let's come here and we're gonna go inside and we're going to play we're going to sing some songs 
drums for some fun. And our girl, Juliet, is going to... What are you going to do? You want to dance? She's going to dance a bit. She's going to dance to her mom's songs. And we're going to see if our if our uh, man Drew shows up. Maybe, maybe not. But everyone's impressed by us because we are kind of famous. So this is great. We're getting some tips, which is always good. Just making a little cash money. Everyone's impressed. Even Dirk Dreamer looks impressed by us. And cool. And our daughter's watching dancing. I think she, I think our kids came with us last time too. So that was kind of cute. Oh my God. Angela Colette, who's a fan, fell, passed out. So we're getting like quite the audience right now. Oh my gosh. Hopefully we level up to level three. Look at, oh my God. Summer Bjergsen is whispering to Angela Colette about us. Everyone's up freaking out because she's so cool and famous. And who is this? Dylan Sigworth, not the D name I'm looking for. <laughs> just a kid at the bar. She is just a kid at the bar, but she's she's vibing. She's liking to listen to her mom. She's having fun. She's becoming confident. She doesn't need to pee. So why don't we go take, take you to the restroom, girly girl. Not the one that's been uh, pranked, but the other one. Go use the restroom and then you can grab some food. Can you not order food at the bar? I guess she is a child, so no, she cannot order food at the bar. So maybe she'll go home or our mom will come make some, grill out some stuff for us. They're taking photos of us. Mary, when will you? Like, it's so hard. Oh, look at these fans. They're so cute. They're also fans of Dirk, apparently. All right. Oh, and she's playing over here. Well, at least she's having fun. This is Kato Akiyama over here. When will, I just really wanted her to get up to level three of her fame and it's just not happening and I don't know why. I thought like just playing instrument will work, but it's not, so I don't know. I guess we could like start, can't we like start a meet and greet or something? Post for photos. Post for photos. Yeah, we can post for some photos. I thought we could do a meet and greet. Oh, we are level three. When did that happen? When did that happen? It literally never announced it, but we are. We're level three of fame. It says we're a B-lister. Look, wait, over our head. B-lister. When did that happen? I hate when the Sims do that. Meet and greet is a calendar event. Ooh, good tip. I haven't done it in a very long time, but we should do it. I guess, yay. That was so anticlimactic. I was like, bro, whatever. But we're a B-lister, so yay. Um, we're, we're figuring it out. We're missing some fame points to be a B-lister though. I'm gonna say that right now, but it's fine. Don't run inside, go post for your photos, queen. Post for photos, cause you're a celebrity now. Look at us, boom, baby. Look, he's such a fan. Let's take some selfies with our fans, sign some autographs. Look at Sa Sarah trying to take photos with us. Look at her posing. Posing, where's the photographer when you need it? Oh my God. I'm pretty sure Summer just almost passed out because she was so excited for us. Oh my God, look how cute. Julia's just playing inside. Okay, well, that was fun, I guess. We, we, our daughter made a mess, but that's okay. We didn't run into the guy. The hot guy was, never showed up. So rude. But our daughter's hungry, so we need to take her back. So we're gonna go back home. And it's a little blizzard, so it's probably good, good timing to go home. Is, it, is there a way to sell your own autograph when you're famous? Oh my gosh, there should be, literally. Meet and greet is under the events. Yes, yes, yes. We'll have to do that sometime, it would be fun. We're just, honestly, our son's going to be home in an hour, so we should just, like, wait until he's, oh, look at little Juliet running through the snow, like, yay, I had so much fun today at the bar with mom. 
Look at her, just running. She's so cute. Look at her go. Oh, we'll just speed it up a bit so it goes. But that was so cute. She didn't make a mess. She's expressing her creativity. So true, Melissa. I'm glad you said something. Alex Soto, thank you so much for the resub. Um, thank you much, uh, Leela, for the Switch Prime sub. Welcome to our quest for world domination. Trollness, thank you so much for the resub. Uh, Pretty Kitty, thank you so much for the giving a community gift. And Milana, thank you so much for giving a community gift. You guys are all awesome. Me when I'm cold, honestly, same. Uh, uh, MLP, thank you so much for the chili. Chelsea, thank you so much for the hand hearts. Okay, we're having... She's having cake because she likes the cake. <laughs> Mary is also kind of hungry. What are you going to make, Mary? I think you should... Yeah, you should cook something for everybody in the family because we're all living off of cake and that's not good. So let's go cook some salads, some winter salads. You know, maybe it's like a warm salad. I love a good warm salad in the winter. I, maybe I'm just hungry right now. Steven is still a C student. What the heck, Steven? He's a good C student though, so he'll probably go up. But he's kind of tense. He needs some fun. Why don't you watch some TV? And then maybe you can, uh, you and your mom could go meet up with the horse and the horse's owner. Okay, Mary likes jokes, that's cute. I love that. Who's in my house? Who is this over here? What the heck? Why is there a man in my bathtub that I don't, there's a strange man in my bathtub. What the heck, bro, why are you? I have children in this house. Are we friends? Do I know you? Apparently I know him. I don't remember when we've met, but honestly, it is kind of weird. I'm gonna take my kids and go, oh, she's gotta go to work. Crap. We're like two hours late to work. This is not good. We might be fired. I was gonna get a promotion today, but no. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, Steven. <gasps> Debut would like to come over and hang out. Yes, Drew's gonna come over. Oh my God, this is perfect. Drew is gonna babysit. She's like, yeah, whoever you need to babysit, babysit. Just get this other guy out of the house. I think he left, but Drew's over, Drew's over. Yay, yay, come on in, come on in. He's like, this is gonna be my, this is my little sister I tell you about. She just had a birthday. So she's like my age now. Oh my gosh, and he's feeling flirty. What's that about? Okay. Brighten his day. I don't know if Drew's put together that she's the famous celebrity. Let's sit and chat on the couch together. Come on in, Drew. He's just standing in the doorway. Okay. But he's here. Where's Juliet? She's, okay. She's expressing her creativity outside. We love this for you, Juliet. She is kind of tired. But let's tell him a little goofy story. Let's quote a cartoon character to him. Run a casual, someone calling Juliet. It, oh, it's her dad. He said, happy birthday. Oh my God, we should have invited him over. That was on me for not, but we should do a little howdy introduction to uh, Drew. <laughs> he left the tub filthy. He did leave the tub filthy. That's so gross. But we're gonna do our little howdy introduction and talk about our dreams. And then maybe Steven could be like, can you bring your horse over, Teardrop? I would love it if Teardrop came over to hang out. I'm just saying it would be cool. I'm just saying it would be cool if Teardrop came over. Um, you don't, no pressure, but obviously it would it would be really cool if Teardrop was here. And he's like, of course, Teardrop's on her way. Teardrop will be right over. Yeah, Teardrop. All right, let's wake up Teardrop because apparently he's like, I don't care about your feelings. Horse, I need you to be awake because I want to talk to you. I want to tell you jokes and I want to give you neck scratchies and I want to be best friends. Teardrop, stay with me. <laughs> Talk with me. Juliet can do no wrong. He did text Teardrop, that is canon. Teardrop and him have no relationship, so that's great. Teardrop doesn't seem to like him at all. Can we give Teardrop like some, oh, her fun is low. We, yeah, we have like no relationship with Teardrop. Teardrop could not care less about us. Maybe we could buy an apple and feed Teardrop. We could bribe Teardrop with, with things. Purchase 
purchase yes perfect we're gonna purchase like a bunch of apples he's gonna purchase 10 apples it's 140 dollars worth of apples which sounds crazy but that's fine he's gonna keep hand feeding teardrop until teardrop loves him teardrop please love me julia is is chatting where did where did the guy go there he is talk about your favorite animal I think he was throwing away the trash, which is adorable. I love when they do that. Scratch neck. Okay, we're gonna, we can, can we feed you again? Action. Can we go for a ride? We're gonna go for a relaxed ride and see how it, how it goes. We're gonna try to r ride the horse. Teardrop and him are like vaguely friends. But here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, that is not a black fit, but that's fine. Okay, here we go. He's riding Teardrop. We're proud of you. This is his literal dream. This child is very scared, but having such a good time. Look at him. He's living his dreams. I'm so happy for him. We got mail. We'll have mom get the mail. I bet it was for our birthday. He, what is he doing? Oh, he's making a snowman. Oh my god, he's making a snowman while he lets this kid, this kid, random kid that went up to him and wouldn't stop talking to him ride his horse. Can we like... We're just hanging out with Teardrop. This is so cute. All right, keep going. I think mom's gonna arrive home any minute. Mom's definitely not getting a promotion today. No, she is getting a promotion today. Wow. They must just really love her at work because she came in two hours late. <laughs> That's impressive. I should change the saddle and the saddle pad color, uh, but we'll do that when Teardrop has joined our family. Oh, he said I should get going now. No, how are you gonna meet my mom? It's fine, we'll meet her. We'll have them meet tomorrow. It's gonna be exciting. M Mom's home. Okay, let's ride Teardrop home because I don't, where is home? You went so far, kid. Okay, ride Teardrop home walk here yeah we're gonna walk there we're not gonna ride too fast mary is dazed but she got a promotion she is now a symphonic stream player um and she is a musician level eight uh and she's crushing it she's so good let's let's take a nice relaxing bath with soaks maybe some rose petals steven's walking back on the horse letting the horse take him back home there we go. Okay. Okay. Look at the little bounce. But up, but up, but up, but up. <laughs> so cute. I feel like I'm in a celebrity live. Well, Pinhead, thank you. That's very nice. Hi, Angie. How you doing? I've never caught you live. Oh, thanks, Em. I'm doing not the so berry challenge. Nice, Melissa. I love it. I find it funny that I love the Sims and the Sims also happens to be part of my family name somewhere on my mom's side. That's cute. That's super funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mom is wearing a nice little face mask getting some relaxing evening we're gonna oh hello bring him here where did he go go home little weirdo go to bed your sister's already in bed she's reading a book cool why don't you go to sleep we're all going to sleep steven's taking himself to bed i think steven ages up on monday yes yeah, so we need to get going on him making friends wait why does it say become friends with two adults him and drew are friends that was one of my adults oh, that's so ridiculous we kicked right out of the house you gotta watch the episode it was so good it was so good you have to watch it was wild so much happened. Okay, yeah, the game definitely feels like it's glitching, so that's unfortunate. Because it removed one of the things that I've already done. So, that is a shame, but it's fine. If we run out, I'll just, like, say we did it. It's gonna be fine. We run out of time. I'm gonna count it. <laughs> it's just all for fun anyway. We'll just do our best. The aspiration glitches for me all the time. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Oh my gosh, she's going back outside to make a mess again. She's loves, she, she loves it. She's like, I am an autistic genius. 
Are you inspired? Maybe you should make a little drawing here. Since you're so inspired. Go inside. You're supposed to draw two pictures while inspired. So why don't we draw a picture? Let's draw people. Maybe meet the... I wonder if they're like, Mom, a man came over yesterday. And she's like, okay, I finally got to meet this man. So they're going to have a play date with him. She's like, who is this random Mr. Debut? And she didn't make the connection that it's her former crush from high school. Okay, she made one. Let's clean that one up. She's a perfectionist. She doesn't want to keep the drawings. And let's do a vehicle. There we go. Oh, it's New Year's. It's New Year's Eve. Ooh, what a perfect time to fall in love for Mary. It's counting down to midnight on New Year's Eve. It's also on a Saturday, so that's kind of convenient. Woohoo! We reached level five of the creativity skill, and we're almost done with our second picture while inspired. Boom! Milestone complete. Uh, we need to play with three toys. Uh, and so we got level one of the milestone for Juliet complete. Steven accomplished a dream of riding a horse. He also met the future love of Mary's life. We made him, but you know, we haven't met him yet. But I think that might be something we'll do in the next stream uh, that we do with this. Maybe a little New Year's kiss. Um, will all the eras be Mary's children? No. Next, we'll be playing as Juliet when she ages up in the next gen. The next era will be Juliet's child. So the next era being the third album to speak now. Am I right on that? Yeah, I think speak now is the third album and that will be after. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, third studio album. Perfect. So yeah, the Speak Now era will be Juliet's child. Um, so yeah, this was so fun. I hope you guys had a great time. I had a great time. I'm going to head out because I'm getting really hungry and I need to check on my dogs. Um, I couldn't get a New Year's kiss because I'm sick. Well, ho hopefully you can get a kiss some other time in the new year. Don't worry about that. Uh, and I hope that you guys all have a fantastic rest of your evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys all on Thursday. Bye.